and distinguished guests and colleagues and students. I'm really delighted to welcome you here today for this uh, symposium focusing on the utopian vocation of the University of Limerick. I felt like I was sitting in a rogues gallery there, sitting in the, the front with my three predecessors and luckily, luckily we had Jean there too, uh, so that they were well balanced on both sides of the, of the row. I think um, what I, I want to say a few words about uh, to, to maybe get things started and I, I think that our search for a more utopian society is, is a constant and somewhat elusive challenge and in preparing what I was going to say here, I, I have, this is a confession I guess, I have this habit of um, <coughs> when I'm going to have to say something to use Google where I type in um, something called quotes about such and such a thing. So I typed in quotes about uh, utopia and there were 51 of them. 50 of them <coughs> were derogatory or sounded derogatory to me. So the only one that I felt I could use on a day like today was one uh, by Oscar Wilde and this is it. A map of the world that does not include utopia is not worth even glancing at, or it leaves out the one country at which humanity is always landing. So I think any discussion about Ireland, how Ireland as a nation might progress towards a more utopian society is a worthy endeavour, especially at a time when we face such deep challenges to our culture and to our economy and to our society. And I'm delighted that our work here at UL might contribute to that goal. <clears throat> at any university, and particularly here at UL, we believe that our greatest hope for the future lies with our students. The responsibility for educating future generations is an obligation that we take very seriously. Nurturing student success and maximizing students' contribution to society are two of our highest priorities. And last year, the university produced a statement of what we call graduate attributes, which are attributes that we are, we are committed to seeking to imbue in our students, and also a statement which articulates our commitment to creating and sustaining an outstanding learning environment for our students. And a central element of the graduate attribute statement is balance, <clears throat> preparing students for their professional lives, but also for their personal lives. There's an ongoing debate in many educational circles about whether universities should offer a broad-based liberal arts education focused on educating the whole person, or whether instead universities should be more closely linked to industry and produce graduates with specific skill sets for the workplace. And I believe that the answer lies somewhere in between those two extremes. This university works closely with our in industry partners to ensure that our programs are relevant and reflect the changing needs of the workplace. But we do not only focus on developing employability attributes. <clears throat> we expect our students to be knowledgeable to apply their knowledge to real-world problems and to develop critical thinking skills. We expect our students to be proactive and creative, to innovate and to create new knowledge and new ways of doing things. We expect our students to be responsible and collaborative. We believe that students and citizens should take responsibility for themselves, but also responsibility for the communities in which they live as no person exists in isolation from that community. And finally, we expect our students to be articulate, as without the ability to communicate our ideas, knowledge is lost, and advocacy for change is simply impossible. Here at UL, we believe in creating better individuals and better communities, and we believe that that is the first step towards creating a better future. I strongly believe that utopianism is not about dreaming. Rather, it is a structured and interdisciplinary way of looking at the world and how together we might construct 
a very active word, how we might construct a better future. And utopianism <coughs> is not a new concept for here at UL. The Rallaheim Center for U Utopian Studies was established in 2003 to pursue research on utopian thought and practice, and it has grown from strength to strength in 10 short years. The center has established a rigorous program of research supported by a workshop series and significant publishing activity. The Rallaheim Center is a beacon for utopian studies in Ireland and has gained recognition at the highest levels of government. Pref President Higgins recently called for a revival of utopian studies and when he was saying that he specifically acknowledged the work being conducted at the Rallaheim Center <clears throat> and he described the center's efforts as important for the renewal of critical utopian thought. It's not possible for anyone at UL to speak about the success of the Rallaheim Center without acknowledging its founder and co-director, Tom Moylan. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank Tom personally for his efforts in, develop, in establishing the center, in bringing it forward over time, and in particular, in developing today's conference. And I want to congratulate him on the conference and on the continued success of the center. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> It's my firm belief that all the best results are achieved through collaboration, and today's symposium is no different. This symposium is a joint effort between the Irish World Academy of Music and Dance and the Rallaheim Centre. And I want to take this opportunity to thank the Academy for their continued support of this activity and for their continued efforts, sustained efforts, in trying to enhance the life of the university in so many different ways that go well beyond their contribution in the area of music and dance. So I would like to acknowledge the Academy in that regard. And they should get a round of applause too. If you <laughs> As most of you know, this, this year we are celebrating the 40th anniversary of the arrival of the first students on campus and during the year we are pausing to look back on our history and to appreciate all that we have <coughs> achieved but we're also looking forward to the next 40 years and we will be an institution that continues to be committed to educating graduates who are prepared for pioneering roles in society who are connected to their communities and to share diverse cultural experiences and it is through educating future generations that we at UL can best contribute to the utopian vision. So in conclusion, I hope this symposium is a great success. I'm going to have to sneak off before it's over. I'll stay for as long as I can because I'm really interested to hear what people have to say. I hope you enjoy the day. Thank you very much for listening.